really soon. I think about a week from when you're watching this. So we really have to get ready. And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go ahead and decorate. We're gonna do some kids activities. We're gonna talk about presents, figure out what I'm gifting my kids when. And this time around, we're actually gonna be on vacation for part of Hanukkah. So we're gonna talk about how we're gonna make it special while we're on vacation. So first off, we gotta decorate. And ever since I had Ellie help me decorate for fall, she has absolutely loved it and wants to decorate for every single holiday. And that just makes me really happy because I love that. What are you doing? We're decorating for Hanukkah. So here's all the things we already had. Of course, we have some towels. So I have both like hand towels and kitchen towels. This is a sign I got last year, I think. Um, we have some cookie cutters. This year at Target, they have like silicone ones, which are nicer. Then we gotta make our way to our menorah collection. So here's our, the one that like we use as a, for the adults. Ellie last year got this really cute donut one and she made this one at preschool. Maybe it's time for Sam to get a new menorah. Um, here are like two menorah trays that we have. This thing that we use for Hanukkah so the kids will put one each day. And we also have a wooden menorah over there that I'll show in a second. So those are our menorahs. We have a really decent book collection. So first is from PJ Library. These are all the PJ Library books that we've gotten over the years, which is awesome. This one is my favorite for babies because it's like the no tear one. Mom, look. One second. And then these are other ones that we've purchased. This is probably Ellie's favorite, but we also have Where's Baby's Dreidel and some of these other ones. So this is our wooden menorah. What are these? These. We have a whole bag of dreidels, right? That we're kind of set up. We have some memory game. These are for our menorah. We also have our Legos. These are some sweaters we've gotten over the years. Speaking of decoration, of course I had to pull out my Hanukkah sweater. It says, come on baby, light my menorah. Um, it has little lights in it. I've had this for a few years and the lights still work, so it's pretty awesome. So here's our Hanukkah decorations. In the living room, we kept it pretty simple with just a little things on the mantle, including this happy Hanukkah stack and some dreidels. I did hang up our banners that I got last year at Target and a few more dreidels and a menorah. And then of course, my kid's favorite little dreidel pillow on the floor. In the coffee bar area, I just put some little Hanukkah lights. And then in our dining room, I got the most beautiful table runner off of Amazon. And so here is where I'll display all our menorahs, our dreidels, and things of that nature. And then lastly, Ellie decided to go ahead and make a whole Hanukkah store. So she has all her books here, the menorah, and some accessories, and I think some artwork she made. And it is the cutest thing because she'll stand here and you can buy things from her. And then lastly, I just added a few touches to our bathroom with a nice wooden sign and a little towel and of course we have our happy Hanukkah sign hanging where they'll pull out the different candles each and every night. Hanukkah is eight days long and usually I like to do some special activity every single day. This time around we're actually going to be on vacation for some of Hanukkah which is pretty awesome in itself but I want to kind of figure out a few things to bring with us to make Hanukkah extra special while we're there. I'm waiting on our Hanukkah pajamas and giving everyone their Hanukkah pajamas on vacation. We all have to wear pajamas anyway, so might as well make it the gift. And I always get our whole family matching PJs for Hanukkah. I just love that tradition. And this year I got them from Hannah Anderson and they're just so cute and the quality is so nice. I like these PJs for winter because they're a little bit warmer. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and bring some of our PJ library books. We get these for free. We always get some for Hanukkah, which is awesome. So now we have a big collection, but I just pulled two of them that we're gonna go ahead and enjoy while we're on vacation. Since we're on vacation, I didn't wanna bring a ton of stuff, but the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a dreidel night. I'm gonna bring a dreidel to play with, of course, some chocolate coins. I also picked up these dreidel treats from Target, and they have some candy inside, so each kid will get that. Target this year really stepped it up with Hanukkah. I'm pretty impressed. So they have these wooden dreidel and painting kits, and they were $5. The only thing is it only comes with one paint thing, but, 
I bought two of course so i'm going to take the paint from this one and just bring one of these with me and the kids can paint it you can see how small it is so i feel like it'll be easy to transport they also had this happy hanukkah one so we're actually going to do this at home before hanukkah to decorate for hanukkah and get them in the spirit we're going somewhere warm and it's known for all the animals that you could see in the ocean and so people snorkel and things like that a lot there However, my kids are like two and four, and so I don't think they'll get the hang of snorkeling yet. So I booked us an excursion where we will take a glass bottom boat so that they can see all the animals. But the best part is they have a mermaid addition to this excursion where a real mermaid swims through the ocean and the kids will see it. And I am so excited for this because Ellie is obsessed with mermaids. She loves everything mermaid. So she doesn't know about this. And so while we're on vacation, the day before, I'm gonna gift her a new Peppa book because she also loves Peppa. But this is a mermaid Peppa book. And then I'm gonna tell her about the excursion. So she's gonna be so excited. So that's what we're doing on vacation. And then the last thing I picked up at Target this year was Hanukkah socks. I picked up one for my husband and one for me and they had a set of two for the kids. So one night we're gonna all get new Hanukkah socks and have a movie night and pop some popcorn. Next on my to-do list is to wrap presents. So here are the main gifts that I need to wrap or get ready for the kids and may have gone a little overboard, but that's okay. Basically I have three main nights of gifts, which makes it a little bit easier. I have a bunch of videos on my channel of like different gift ideas, but I'm gonna show you some of the things I got them for Hanukkah this year. So my son, Sam is two, and he has uh, this Melissa and Doug set that's like a birthday cake one, and he loves it. So I got him a pizza one. Uh, I think it's really fun and he loves it pizza and he can go ahead and make his own so I got him one of these he also is really into like helping me clean and stuff so I got him this dust sweep and mop thing I mean I guess get them started early also Melissa and Doug and I think this one's pretty popular so he's gonna love that I got him a Hot Wheels set one of his bigger gifts is I got him like a tool bench with all kinds of tool sets. So I got him that. These bigger ones, I don't think I'm gonna wrap. I think we're just gonna go ahead and assemble for him. And then I have these two that I will wrap for him. And I think there's a few other ones that are coming, but anyway, we'll at least get started. For my daughter, more of her gifts have arrived. Her biggest gift is I got her a vanity set, which I am so excited for her to have. She loves to do makeup and dress up, and she currently does it on like her little table, and I just, she's constantly like, Mom, I don't have a mirror, and da, da, da. I'm excited to get her a real vanity set, so we'll definitely set that up. That same night, she will get another makeup gift set. Uh, she has some, but some of it is like almost all out, so I figured I would get her some new ones. She's also very into Barbies and has tons of Barbies, uh, but we haven't gotten her Barbie dollhouse yet, so she's getting a Barbie dollhouse. Again, this one will probably just assemble. I'm not wrapping it, but um, Grandma sent her some Barbies to go along with it. So, And then for our last night, yep, Sam is probably going to get his duster and pizza set and Ellie's gonna get everything Gabby Dollhouse. So she also loves Gabby Dollhouse, which apparently is a show on Netflix. Uh, so she's getting the actual dollhouse. Again, grandma sent her some things to go into the dollhouse. I don't really know how this works. Let's go ahead and wrap these presents. Now, I didn't even get new wrapping paper because I've had some over the years and I, I like to do as many different colors as possible, so I think I should be okay there. I did pick up some labels, and basically I will write to and from on each of these, and on it I will also put the night that these gifts are for. So that's my trick. Now, if you're looking for a video on how to beautifully wrap presents or in all kinds of creative ways, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this video is not it. I'm really not that great at wrapping, and the only items I can really wrap are square packages and rectangles, and if it's not one of those, I'm throwing it in a bag. But it doesn't matter, because your kids just get the joy of opening a gift and that surprise, and that's all they really care about. And even if it's a perfect rectangle, sometimes I still manage to screw up that wrapping job. For example, this package was way too big, and I just like, no matter how many ways I tried, I could not do it. And at the end, I just went with a regular wrap, and on the sides, it shows a little. But you know what? I think they're still going to be totally fine. 
and enjoy unwrapping the present and ultimately playing with the gift. So no one's going to know, right? Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. oh, oh. I don't so that's how I'm preparing for Hanukkah, and I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing so you don't miss any further videos. And I want to wish you and your family a happy Hanukkah or a happy holiday season. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!